No, um, the Black Lives Matter group is just one big hypocritical propaganda to me. I mean, to me, it's not a real movement. It's not a real movement at all. The reason why I say this, because the Black Lives Matter movement only comes out when a government official, like the police, kills a black man. That's the only time when they come out. And don't get me wrong, which is understandable. Police brutality and racism has been going on for years, many years. And that's something that needs to be stood up to. The corruption, the corrupt law enforcement, even the corrupt government. Every, every corrupt system needs to be stood up to and risen against. Together we can do it. Separated we can't. See, the Black Lives Matter group, I think it's a separate form of, hit, of propaganda that's just another way to separate us by racism. It's just another tool by the government. It's, um, it's another tool by the government. It's no different from the terrorists, ISIS, or anything like that. It's no different from them. You know, um, they're not making a real difference in the world. Not to me, not like the Black Panthers, not like not like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. or even Malcolm X. They all just established unity. They all wanted unity. That's what they all wanted. Unity and respect. And most importantly, they protected the communities. They protected the communities. Not only from law enforcement, but drugs, game bangers. Rather than put drugs in a kid's hand, they will put books. They will teach kids the fundamentals of knowledge. They will teach that to the kids. And you just don't get that anymore. I mean, all the real leaders that we had as a black culture, they're dead. They assassinate them. And now without that real leadership, there's no proper guidance. There's really no proper guidance. You know, after the Black Panthers, it was it. That was a threat. You know, they poisoned. They poisoned it. You know, they poisoned it with crack and everything. So, with that, you left just... With that in the 80s, you left game bangers. You know, there was no real guidance. And, you know, that's, that's where everything kind of exploded. I believe for the... Um, black community was in the 80s the crack academic because you know a lot of our leaders um start getting hooked on drugs and you know it's just it's just really sad it kind of just left us all deluded gangs you know we had nowhere to turn to and with the way America is so called set up they put it in our minds that we don't have a way out you got to you got a game bang, you got a drug, you know, we, we don't have a way out. But, hey, I look at it this way, man. If you got your faith in God and, you know, there's always a way out, man. You come from the slums and, hey, you come to the slums and make miracles, man. You know, sometimes you ain't got to put the gun in your hand. You ain't got to put none of that in your hand, man. Put a, there's always a different way out, man. You know, tell it to my son. There's always a different way out. Man, you don't have to go through that wrong path, even though it may seem hopeless. Um, just try to keep your faith, man, and and just do what you got to do, man. Do it the right way, because you don't want to fall into the prison system where you're just another number. When you're just another number in the books, when you're just another number to the system in the prisons, and. That's the thing, man. With the uh, Black Lives Matter movement, it's um they they don't support the community like they should. They will stand up when a black man gets killed by the police. Understandable. Uh, completely understandable. Will they stand up when a white man gets killed by the police? Will they stand up? When a Mexican or any race gets killed by the police, will they do that? 
I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. There's been many other victims of police brutality. Of course, black has been the one. That's the one we need to focus on right now. But hey, let's focus on all of them too as well. Let's focus on all the different nationalities. Separate, we can't win this battle. Together, we can. Let's stand up. But here's the problem. Here's the problem where I have this whole Black Lives Matter propaganda. How come Black Lives can't matter 365 days out the year? How come that can't happen? It's almost like a special Christmas event or a holiday when a black kid gets shot by the police. Um, okay, then they come out. Then they want to protest. You know, it doesn't make any sense. How come black lives can't matter 365 days in a year? How come black lives can't matter in the community, in the ghettos, in the black community? How come there are no protesters protesting against the gangs, the drug violence, the prostitution, everything that's going on in the hood right now? How come they can't protest about that? How come they can't make a real difference like the Black Panthers did? I mean... There's been many a times on the news I've seen black on black crimes, little kids getting shot, black people getting shot, everybody murdered, violence all over the world, all over, all over the United States, all over the United States, Chicago, Illinois, everywhere, in our own community. But you know, you don't see the Black Lives Matter anywhere. You don't see them. They're silent. Their voices are silent. You don't see them standing up to the drug dealers and the game bangers in their own community. You don't see that. But you will see the Black Lives Matter group marching with the same game bangers, the same people who are hurting their community you will see them marching with those same individuals whenever a police officer kills a black man. You will see that group marching with the same individuals. But when it's all said and done, you won't see them standing up for the real cause in their community. That's why I can't support a group like that. Because it's nothing but a propaganda. If you're not if you're not willing to help the community and and you want to publicize it and you just you want to get national attention from this movement then you're not making a real cause what cause are you making who are you actually helping you can wear a t-shirt all day long but if if the t-shirt isn't displaying your actions if you say I'm here to help the hood, you got a teacher saying I'm here to help the hood and, and your actions aren't displaying what's on a t-shirt, then that's worthless. But in reality, it's our own kind killing each other. And the only way to fix the problem is to start at the source. The source is within us. If we can't make ourselves better as a, a community, a black community, a black culture, the kings that I know that we are, then how can we ever expect black lives to matter like it should? All lives matter. That's the beef I have with the Black Lives Matters movement. If you're going to be a movement, stand up for all the causes that are going on. Don't just stand up for one particular cause. Stand up for all the causes. 
Stand up for all the causes that's going on in the community right now. Stand up to the gang violence. Stand up to the black on black crimes. Voice. What's your opinion? When there's a black on black crime and somebody gets shot, that's where the that's when the Black Lives Matter movement should be coming around as well. You know? We should be seeing the Black Lives Matter movement on TV all the time. But you don't see it. You only see it when it involves racism or corruption. That's the only time you see that movement. But in reality, that movement should be 365 days out the year. It should be 365 days out the year. The Black Lives Matter movement should be 365 days out the year. Not only protecting citizens against against corrupt police officers, but protecting citizens against against gang violence, drugs, prostitution, getting all that stuff off the street, trying to clean up the streets. Anytime things are still the same and the Black Lives Matter movement is still around and there's no real change, what type of movement is that? What type of movement is it? It's not a movement at all. If a movement can't can't enforce change, then it's not a real movement at all. It's only propaganda. It's only publicity. Because if they cared about real change, if that movement cared about real change, every time a black on black crime happens, or an innocent get kid gets shot in the hood over drug gang or gang violence or just a bullets don't have any name. If they really cared, they would stand up and protest against that. They would stand up and protest against that. Just like they did back in the old times. We gotta clean up our streets. But it's hard. Because in the music nowadays, they make it cool to be a drug dealer and cool to be a cool to be a gangbanger and it's just really corrupt it's so and it's so hard to do right when temptation is all around you you see half of these drug dealers who are marching with the Black Lives Matter community are hypocrites as well I'm gonna tell you why they're hypocrites because they'll tell you They'll tell the community, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Stop snitching. They'll wear it on a t-shirt. They'll advertise it. They'll, they'll rap about it. Uh, don't talk to the police. We don't do that. Uh, talk to the police. We're going to get you. And they'll, they'll rap about it. They'll, they'll advertise that locally. And they'll stick to that to the fullest. The, 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 stop, the stop snitching code. But what they don't tell you is as soon as they get hit with a case or they get hit with that yearly sentence, they're the ones that's talking to the police. I'm not saying all of them, but most of them are the ones talking to the police, giving out information, giving out information that they stuck by. So they're the ones that's talking to the police in general. Why they want you to stop snitching. Next thing you know, since some of the government officials are corrupt anyway, they're back on the streets. while 10 or 20 of their so-called homeboys are locked up in the system. In the system. And when you're in the system, like I say, you're nothing but another number. 
And the prisons, they actually make money off these prisoners. They make money off of them. In reality, it's a modern day slave trade. It's one big setup. It's one big setup. They make money off the prison system. For you guys, for you guys, um, just um, just selling so and hurting the community. Knowing all these little things. I mean, karma is something you can't. Karma. Karma is something you can't you can't run away from. You can't run away from karma. Every dog has this day. Sometimes it might be too late. Try to change for the better before it's too late. Try. Every dog has this day. I mean, you got all this music that glamorizes drug dealing. They glamorize it to be a drug dealer. They make it seem cool. They make it seem all right, but they'll never say the consequences. And you know, they're buying all this fancy shit, these fancy cars, these Jordans, um, these Jordan shoes that don't even, won't really matter in the long run. You know, I, I don't even support Michael Jordan personally. I don't support him at all. I mean, I appreciate his work as a basketball player, but as a person, um, I'm not gonna wear shoes. I'm not gonna support him. I'm not gonna support what Michael Jordan stands for. That's just me. I'll talk about that another time. But my thing is, do we really support the drug dealers in our own community than the police. That's my question. Do we support the drug dealers in our own community more than the police? The ones that are shooting, drive-bys, everything, killing innocent kids, drug wars in our own community. Do we support the drug dealers more than we do the law enforcement hasn't really gotten that bad? Because in reality, who are you gonna call? You're not gonna call Pookie on the corner. You're not gonna call him. You're gonna call the police officer. And when Pookie tells you not to snitch, he's the same guy that's in in the in the jail talking to the detectives right now. Pookie, that's the same guy that's in the jail talking to the detectives. Crying, the hard pookie, the big pookie, he's crying in a cell, saying he has a kid's girlfriend, but he's not thinking about that. Anytime he's hurting the community, he's actually putting his own kids in danger. It's sad. It's sad, and they'll tell you not to snitch. What's what's snitching really? They'll tell you not to snitch. They just, they want to keep that hood cycle trapped. They want to keep it going. You know, they want to keep the drugs in the community. They want to keep the violence in the community. So they created this um, propaganda logo. Um, don't snitch. Don't snitch. And it's true. It's true. Sometimes... Sometimes you gotta you gotta stay quiet. I don't your own fear. People fear. People fear. What needs to happen? We just need to stand up to everybody, man. You know these drug dealers are no different from the terrorists on the street, ISIS, any anybody on the street. Anytime you got turf wars going on where a little two year old gets shot, you know and. Nobody's standing up for it. Nobody's standing up for it. There's no 
whenever a two-year-old gets shot or anything like that, there's no protest. No protest from the Black Lives Matter or any publicity. And if there is protest, somebody is protesting, that's not going to get publicity. That's not going to make the media. That's not going to make the news. And it's messed up because there are people with voices out here and they're not getting heard because the media will feed into negative energy before they feed into the truth. So there's voices out here that are not getting heard and that the media will block. So people won't hear it. Trapped in a cycle. We're trapped in a cycle. This world really is ran by the devil. So I don't vote. You know, it's just um the best we can do now is just put our faith in God and just um hope for the best. Try to live our life one day at a time. Because every day ain't promised. Who knows what can happen? Let's just all count our blessings. And just um stay focused on the bigger picture. Let's love each other. And just um just keep our head up. Even though times are really hard. They're hard for me right now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying my best to keep my head up and resist the temptation of everyday life. I'm trying. It's about all I can do is try.